pretty well played game by both teams. I was proud of my team. I thought they hung in there and fought really hard. Um, you know, I thought probably a critical play there was, uh, I think it was about 45 seconds to go in the game. We really defended them really well. Uh, Dennis came off his guy and kind of helped there on Blossom game. The ball kind of squirted out, they ended over there in front of their bench, and then we fouled them with three seconds on the shot clock. Down one, and uh, just gave them two points. And, you know, um, you know, I felt like if we got to stop there, we've got the ball, we've got a chance at that point to take the lead, you know, a lot of things could be different. Dennis came down and made a, a big three-pointer there, uh, and then, uh, you know, obviously we didn't, we didn't get as good of a look as we wanted to there when we were down two. We had the ball down two. We wanted a little better look, but uh, you know I want the ball in Dennis's hands, and we're good with that. But I thought the foul there with three seconds on the shot clock, 40 seconds to go in the game, probably was a you know drastic error on our part. But uh, they played good. Blossom game played great in the second half. I think he was scoreless in the first half. Came out. I thought he did really well in the second half. But I thought we did a good job making it hard for him too. And didn't really let him get in a good rhythm. So. Did a lot of things well, just came up a little short. Mark, at least it, it, it seems like, at least from what we saw tonight, that these guys have continued to play hard. Yeah, no doubt. No matter what. Yeah, I, I've been really proud of them. You know, they, you know, I think sometimes people forget how hard it is for them sometimes, too. You know, we recruited every single guy on this team, uh, got great relationships with every guy, uh, and, uh, you know, it's tough for them sometimes, too. But they battled. You know, we went to Georgia Tech and, one over there, we came over here, and you're basically right down to the last possession to have a chance to win. Um, so uh, now we've got to look for ourselves to go to New York and see if we can get on a roll in some one way or another. Is there any word yet on Markel? No, we're going to we're going to evaluate him tomorrow. Um, you know, he, it's just kind of a knee injury. I don't know that our people are ready to kind of determine it yet until they go home and look at it tomorrow. Who were you looking for in the final play? Well, I wanted to get Dennis a three. He just made one there, and, and uh, we've got a little action we call push, and uh, just didn't execute it well enough. Um, both bigs are supposed to come up to the foul line there. I think Ted kind of got up there a little late and uh, just didn't execute it well enough. So, uh, And that happens sometimes with young teams, but that's certainly not an excuse. <clears throat> so... Push a lot, the loss of uh, Markel. Um, yeah. what, 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 do you have a prognosis on him? And don't uh, know yet. We'll find out tomorrow. How, how, get home. how much did that affect your, your game plan? For well, you know, Markel's been playing really well, and I thought he played really well in the first half. You know, and, uh, and he gives us an additional perimeter player with quickness, speed. So uh, you know, we were one man down at halftime, and everybody stepped up. You know, I thought we got some good minutes out of Torn Dorn. We got good minutes, a couple minutes out of Sean Kirk. Um, and, you know, I think the other part of the game that I really haven't mentioned is, you know, they did a good job on the offensive glass. They, they turned a lot of those missed shots into second chance points. And we didn't do a very good job of, uh, you know, defensive rebounding, especially our bigs. They got to do a little better job. And I thought that was probably a big factor, too. Anything else for Coach?